Hey John, it's Friday. Uh, we're getting ready for the children's build, but uh, I wanted to uh, show your engine. We got ready to start it the other day, and uh, <clears throat> my guy was a little concerned about something. We got a brand new rotor button, and look what it does. And it's just loose on this shaft in the distributor, and he said, you know, there was tape on that distributor. So uh, these are the aftermarket, I guess, uh, the standard parts uh, uh, brand. So we're going to Mallory. Uh, we've gone to Mallory, and we're actually, our new part is due today, our new rotor is due today, uh, but it's not here yet, so, um, and I guess, uh, uh, well, anyway, so we can't, you know, we can't start, there's no way we could time this engine with this rotor uh, at least one cylinder out um, part of the time, and that would be at random, so uh, we're waiting on that, but I did want to show you everything, uh, we've got... Um, We've sucked all the oil out of the transmission because once we uh, ran it for a few minutes, uh, uh, oh gosh, back almost a month ago, uh, you know, we had oil in the transmission, or water in the transmission fluid, but it looks, it looks uh, pretty clean this time. But once, uh, once we've gotten a chance to froth this up by running the engine, if we need to, we'll be uh, emptying it again and refilling it one more time. Um, just we'll walk around here, of course, uh, uh, here's your new, uh, we've rebuilt the water pump, and uh, here's your new alternator, it is a marine, sure enough, honest to God, marine alternator, we've not, uh, you know, figured out the wiring on this yet, uh, but uh, it's a, it's a self-regulating, so actually I think we just changed this uh, unit, there's a unit that clips on here. Uh, that does the helps of the regulating. There's the uh, starter. Of course, it was a used starter, as you recall. And uh, carburetors are all rebuilt, and uh, they look just as sexy as can be, all nice and free. There's evidently a uh, some type of gasket missing here, and it was missing when we got the engine. These are your flame arresters, uh, which we've pulled the screens out of flame arresters. You know, here's your choke down in here. But here's the, the the flame arresters go here, and so the flame arresters would be of no use if we can get flame out uh, right here, and this one's actually even more pronounced. So we're figuring out um, it's not in the in the manual you gave us uh, what kind of seal that gets, but I I have in mind a grommet of uh, of a type of grommet that would go on here and seal that off and make that safe. So we've got those issues. We also found that uh, on the bottom one of the carburetors there was a little fitting and um, and of course this is not actually on the carburetor, this is on the flame arrestor assembly and it has curiously the same type of fitting. So we have uh, we ended up, since this didn't start, we ended up with some fuel in this flame arrestor assembly and uh, we have figured out what this tap is for we're going to pull this uh, manifold back off one more time and uh, run a line from here to the carburetor. We're going to research this with our carburetor folks just to make sure, but we're pretty sure that there's supposed to be a line from here to the carburetor so that uh, any fuel that did manage to accumulate in here uh, gets vacuumed into the carburetor uh, rather than uh, dripping down your, your engine. So. Um, uh, at any rate, uh, it's uh, it's all ready to go. We're just waiting on about a, well, you'd think it's a 50 cent part, but anyway, I'm sure it won't be. But we're just waiting on that part, and we'll have you um, fired up, and you'll be uh, be listening to this guy. Also, we got new wires on, uh, and that was a, that was something. We put new wires on and uh, started putting them on, and they were too short. So we sent out for new wires and get it right this time. They got it right, but two wires short. We're short a coil wire and short one other cylinder wire. So we've got all that corrected now. So it's uh, um, it's it's kind of been a pain in our ass uh, this week. We've we've uh, I thought about shipping it back to you, but at any rate, uh, we got through it and we're taking care of it. And uh, I didn't really think about shipping it to you, and you know. That's what you're paying us for, is for us to take care of the pains and the asses instead of you having to. So, you have a great weekend, and we'll be on this Monday. We should have a video for you on Monday. Bye.